Donald in Aurora, Illinois, listening on WCPT. Hey, Donald, what's up? Yes, hi, Tom. You know, I, I caught a tail end of what you were saying, something about the Republican Party, and, and I believe you meant, you mentioned Mitt Romney. Uh, they uh, hired this uh, you know, this corporation to uh, to create uh, uh, fraudulent uh, voter voter registrations and stuff. Uh, well, to change uh, the addresses of Democratic voters from their actual home address to weird commercial uh, addresses that are, you know, so far away from the, where they actually live that when they show up at their local, local voting place, the person will say, well, you're not on our rolls. You're supposed to be someplace else. And then when they show up at that someplace else, the person will say, well, let's see your ID. And the ID shows their actual address, not this, uh, you know, warehouse. And basically they don't get to vote. Well, Mitt Romney, too, was involved in this? Or, or well, we don't, we don't have... To the best of my, my knowledge, any specific evidence that Mitt Romney himself was involved with this, but this was certainly the Republican Party in Florida. And when it, and when they got outed on it, when they got busted on it, they fired this guy. Yeah, could this be part of that? Could this be related to this October surprise? Maybe they wanted to spring this out on in, in sometime in October or. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I brought this up with Ben LeBold. I, I, I know that he doesn't want to get into conspiracy theory stuff or anything that might sound like it. Uh, he, you know, he doesn't go on programs like this to make news, but to talk about the news. Um, but frankly, I'm of the opinion that, that, the, 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 this, that, there, that, that we have seen several attempts at October surprises, and one of them, I think, was, you know, what happened in the Middle East that ended up with the death of four of our diplomats. Um, now, that's possibly a way out there theory, and in all probability, it's just al-Qaeda. But the whole thing of ginning up these protests, which provided the cover, that came from this movie that was made, this anti-Muslim movie. And we still don't know who funded that anti-Muslim movie. And it wouldn't surprise me at all. It may well not be, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if it was Karl Rove or one of his buddies. And this was their way of trying to cause a meltdown in the Middle East that Barack Obama would have to deal with I mean, it didn't. This is how they beat Jimmy Carter, right? They, 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 you know, they, they cut a deal. Bill Casey went over to to Paris and cut a deal with the Iranians to hold the hostages until after the election, and uh, you know, after the Shah fell. And if they could cut a deal with or just provoke some sort of really serious unrest of the Middle East, something that the president couldn't deal with in a nice, neat fashion before the election then it would provide them with an opportunity to have a never-ending stream of pundits on television trashing the president. And I, you know, during a commercial break last night, Louise and I flipped over to Fox News, and sure enough, there was Sean Hannity talking about how the president had uh, blown this thing in the Middle East with Libya that led to the death of four of our people, and it was all his fault, and quack, quack, quack. And, and I'm like, geez, you know. Is this the October surprise? I mean, is this, or is this an attempt at it, or is it one of many? I, you know, I, I just don't know, Donald. Thank you for the call. I, I also, you know, remember when Karl Rove, in the last election, in the 2008 election, when Karl Rove was su supposed to testify before Congress, he was under subpoena, he was supposed to testify before Congress, and uh, he ignored the, the subpoena. Nancy Pelosi famously said that she could have had him put in jail. She could have had him put in jail. She should have had him put in jail. But he ignored the subpoena to testify, and this was in the whole Scooter Libby outing Valerie Plame thing. Uh, he ignored the subpoena to testify, and his excuse was that he was in Yalta. He was he was over in the you know the former Yugoslavia. He was over he was over on or near the Mediterranean. He was in Yalta at this meeting. Well, who else was at that meeting? Shakashvili. Mikhail, I think his first name is, isn't it? Yeah, Mikhail Saakashvili. Saakashvili is the head of Georgia, of you know, the former Soviet state of Georgia. And three, four weeks after Karl Rove meets with this guy, this guy basically declares war on South Ossetia and the other little country, the name of which I constantly forget, but these two little countries that, that Georgia and Russia have been fighting over forever, but that basically were you know, considered by the Russians to be Russian territory and that the Russians had control over. And he, he starts this invasion of them. Uh, Abakistan? Abkhazia, that's, that's what it was. It was Abkhazia and South Ossetia. And, and uh, you know, Saakashvili starts this, this war with these people, which brings Russia in, 
And what does John McCain, the presidential nominee with just a few weeks to go before the election, do? He starts running around all over the place, and the media is saying, you know, that this is, this is proof that we need to have a good, strong Republican who's strong on defense rather than a Democrat like Barack Obama who has no international defense experience. That was, you know, almost verbatim John, John McCain's pitch. And I frankly think that Karl Rove set that thing up. And by the way, after Saakashvili got his butt kicked from one end of Georgia to the other by the Russians, who recaptured South Ossetia and uh, Abkhazia, or however you say it, um, after that happened, John McCain uh, helped pass through the Senate legislation giving Saakashvili a, million, a billion dollars. Here, you know, have a payoff. Yeah, you know, some of your soldiers died, some of your cities got burned, uh, you got humiliated, it hurt you politically, but here's a billion dollars. And you can spend it any way you want. And what do you want to bet that right next door to Mitt Romney's Swiss bank account, Saakashvili has a Swiss bank account? Or right next in the same building in the Cayman Islands, or in the same building in Bermuda, or the Bahamas, or wherever they are. So, anyhow, I've, I have seen this movie before. I've seen it in election after election after election. And when I see something that looks like it, I just think, you know, there's something going on here.